Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to a new video of EK. In this video, we have the Q&A. You guys asked me some questions on my IG. I'm curious man what you guys asked me. Also, I want to say thank you guys, we smashed 8.7k subs. And after this video, inshallah, I will hit 10k. And the big goal is 100k one day, inshallah. Wait, wait, come and shut, man. I'm gonna have to introduce you, man. So this is my big bro, Matahan. Assalamu alaikum. You gonna ask me some questions? And I'm answer them like an interview. Can you tell me your name, your country, and your goals? My real name is NS Kirshat. What was the next one? Your country. My country. I'm originally from the mountains of Turkey and I live currently in the Netherlands. And my goals, I don't really like to talk about my goals, but one of my goals you can you guys can know is 100 k subs on YouTube, inshallah. Inshallah. What is the meaning of the name E Cannon? E Cannon. This is so crazy because this guy gave me this name. <laughs> I think you can come and shot and also tell them. But as I said, my real name is NS Kushot. So these guys used to call me EK because the, name, yeah, EK. Name, the name was a bit too long, so EK. And this guy was calling me Canon. And in the first time, first time he yeah. did his muscle up, I was like. Pfft. Marshall, he moves like a cannon, he's like a cannon because of the explosive yes, powers. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy always said to me, cannon, cannon. And the name E Cannon came just by naturally, nature, yeah. I think. Yeah, naturally, man. Yeah. Next question is which languages can you speak? I can speak English, I can speak Dutch, and I can speak Turkish. And I'm trying to learn Arabic, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. What are the reasons that prompted you to adhere to the Deen and the Sunnah? So at first I was searching for peace. But in the wrong things, you know, going outside, do some crazy stuff, you know. But after that, my brothers already were a bit more into the deen. So they brought me to the mosque. I saw amazing brothers, amazing brotherhood. I was learning more of it, about Tawheed. I was learning more about the seerah of the prophets, the seerah of the sahabas. And that motivated me so much to stay in my deen. I also learned my prayers, the meaning of the prayers. And that gave me so much discipline and power and I will never uh, leave it anymore man inshallah question from me how old were you I think around 15 16 years old I was not really serious but when I got to like 19 20 I was practicing you know I tried to practice and do my best yes <laughs> uh, <laughs> I already know I think. this question <laughs> for all the people watching this question has been asked since day one. When this, this guy asked the most, <laughs> bro, this guy, I, I don't even know, the, I don't even see the questions and I already know by his face what the question is. But the question is, when will you get married and what do you look for in a wife? <laughs> well, when the time is right, inshallah, for now I have different goals. I try to, you know, do a lot of stuff behind the scenes that I'm really busy with. So if I get that out of the way, but what I look for in a wife, just someone who has Tawheed, who is respectful and uh, yeah, who can uh, also uh, help me with uh, gaining knowledge, inshallah. inshallah. Next question. <laughs> that's, that's the next <laughs> Salah asks, how many hats do you have? I think he means kufis. My kufis? Wait, I'm going to show you guys my collection. Look at this man. We, we, we don't joke around. I think maybe... 25 hats, different colors, but as you can see, gold, white, gray, blue, brown, red, green, white, every color, man. Stripes, but, even. Stripes, yes. everything we match. We have to stay drippy, you know, and also halal. <laughs> as on Spiria asks, how much muscle mass can you increase by calisthenics? I'm going to show you guys a picture of me before calisthenics. I was currently, I think, 52 kilos. And I'm gonna show you guys a picture currently now. Farouk asks, your weight before and after? The picture again. Ding! 52 kg, 73 kg. Jesse Messi, motivation behind on how you decided to start your calisthenics journey? I was watching a video of Honey Buffer King. The every calisthenics guy knows this legend. This guy is a legend, man. I was. At the time, 50 kg, I was watching the video, bro, my mouth was open. How has this guy so much raw strength? How is this guy 
throwing yourself up to the bar. How is this guy doing close muscle ups without even moving his legs? And uh, that motivated me to start and go to a park and do some reps. So first I could only maybe do three pull ups. I was watching the video and at the time I, did, I didn't even have uh, internet. Uh, outside, you know, mm. so I was watching it home Quickly run to a park Still have the motivation from the video do some reps and go home again And it was always by night time and uh, I, I said to myself what this guy is doing is impossible But I had so much more motivation now to see that I am on a high level Alhamdulillah myself It's also for me inspiring because sometimes I look 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 at videos of me before and I see my form, I see how much stroke I had with the muscle ups and now Alhamdulillah we're here man and I still watch the video of Hannibal for King till this moment almost every day I'm gonna put the link in the bio of the video that motivated me but please watch out it as music so mute the video man Next question, Matt Taha asks Human flag For this one, let's go to the park and let's do some skills inshallah So, we're outside with my bro what was the question? It was from Matt Taha. Because of you, we're going to the park now. And uh, yeah, man, let's see. Let's see the human flag form. So see you guys at the park, man. So we are at the park with my bro. Do some pull-ups. Let's go, champ. Again, you, you come with the human flag. So let's see. No warm of nothing. It's not smart, but just let's see. Bismillah. Allah. How is the form? I think clean, but a little bit. <laughs> I have to warm up properly, you know. Can you do an iron cross? But do you know what iron cross is? No. No. <laughs> I thought it's on the rings like this. Hmm. These are not the best rings. I'll still try, man. Ay. Let me warm up for this one, otherwise my shoulder will get injured, you know? Wait, 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 wait. You know, this, this is really in the way, but when I properly warm up, I can alhamdulillah do the iron cross. See the next question? Badr asks, can you do the planche? I see Mustafa, the second question, says Akhi. Do you also consider to train the planche? I still can't do the planche like full, but I can really do straddle. So I was searching for some video ideas and one of the ideas that came across was why don't I take you guys with me in my planche progress? So soon I will do a video on how I will learn the planche so it can maybe take three to six months because Alhamdulillah I'm really close. I have to still stretch my arms like little details but I'm gonna take you guys with me which kind of exercise I will do and also my progress in my planche so you guys have an inside look of how I train and how I achieve a new skill I just have to get some discipline for this specific exercise because I really hate the planche man but I have to get it if I say I do calisthenics I have to master every, every skill and I alhamdulillah till now I, I can already do every skill except for the full planche what's your favorite exercise? Do I have to talk, bro? <laughs> it's the muscle up. But after the muscle up, you know, muscle up is maybe a bit basic. But after the muscle up, my number one exercise is the 90 degree handstand push up. I'm gonna bring it in screen. Yes, it's a handstand. You go all the way down to a push up position, but your feet can't touch the ground. And you press up again. That is my favorite after the muscle up. NSBFL. We share the same name, mashallah. Is it just me or muscle up transition stage is way too difficult? Bro, that's the most dif difficult stage of the muscle up. But I already did a pull up tutorial. Next, inshallah, I'm aiming for a muscle up tutorial. If I explain the techniques of a muscle up, this video will be just too long. So make sure you stay subscribed. Uh, soon I will do a muscle up tutorial. Hassan says handstand. It's not even a question, just he demands a handstand, but I'm gonna give him a handstand.
بارك الله الحمد لله وان زيني از جيتنج ابس مور دايت اور تريننج اي ثينك بيرسونالي اتس ا كومبينيشن اوف بوث اف يو دونت ترين يور ابس ذا ماسلز ويل بي ريلي سوفت سو ات ويل بي هارد تو سي يور ابس ان يور ان يور ستومك يو نو بيكوز ات جاست دونت دونت هاف انف ديفينيشن بات اف يو ترين يور ابس ا لوت اند يو ايت ا لوت اوف فود ذات كونتينز فات then because of the fat you can see your abs you will still see your abs a little bit but it's a combination of both man what is the first step for calisthenics beginners imran muhammad 1453 shout out to you if i get, can give you guys one quick uh, advice is please if you start calisthenics focus on your form that's the most important don't do half reps just don't rush the process please stay sober calisthenics is really hard to see progress in terms if we uh, compare it to fitness you know you can get easily a heavy bench uh, achieving a muscle up just takes more time but i'm gonna show you guys a quick way of the perfect pull up and speaking about the perfect pull up watch my video before where i explained in five different exercises how to achieve your perfect pull up but uh, what i see a lot of guys doing is they do the pull ups like this not fully extended and also not chin of the bar so quick like short reps you know Bro, if you start calisthenics, please focus on the perfect form. It's also important because otherwise you you will get injuries. And if you want to achieve a muscle up and you are doing your pull ups like half reps, it will be really hard. Train your pull ups this way, like fully stretched, engaging your shoulders and chin over the bar. And if you can do that for like 10, 15 reps, then the muscle up will go easy, inshallah. Please make a workout routine for beginners to gain strength to be able to do a calisthenics skill. I will release a lot of videos in terms of how to start calisthenics, tutorials, handstand, front lever, inshallah. Just have patience, I just started my channel, but make sure you subscribe. So the next question, can you tell us more about how you started training the youth in your local area? Beautiful question, man. But how it really started was the two guys that are head of the community, which focus on the children that I uh, train. They knew me already from school. We were uh, going to the same school. And before then, I, I wasn't even eCanon. I don't, didn't really have a social media page. So when I started eCanon, just reached out to me. Uh, Can you please uh, work with us together and uh, focus on the youth and uh, train them physically, mentally, spiritually. So every Sunday I train them at a calisthenics park and also speak about the Dean. So that's something I'm really proud of, alhamdulillah. And shout out to you guys from Stichting Khalaik Spell. So the next question, will you ever become a calisthenics fitness coach? I am, alhamdulillah, already a calisthenics fitness coach, but I just don't take classes at the moment because I'm really, really busy with things behind the scenes. But maybe, inshallah, in the future, I also do online coaching because I have a lot of followers, alhamdulillah, from different sides of the world. So. Stay tuned, man. Mohammed Yusuf asks, who is your favorite UFC fighter of all time? It's really difficult, but if you ask of all time, it's Habib Nurmagomedov. But if you ask at the moment, currently this week, Islam Makhshev won the belt. I really like Islam Makhshev. I also like uh, Francis Ngannou because of his power punches. And I also like Kamaru Usman. I hope he makes his return and get the welterweight title again. And of course, we can't ignore Hamza Chimaev the crazy guy so those are my favorite fighters but of all time it's Habib Nurmagomedov Ibs asks what age should I start working out I'm 13 bro it's too young 13 is for me it's too young but if you are like 16 you can start with calisthenics just body weight only don't do like heavy exercises like deadlifts or squats you can really injure your back but if you do an exercise please focus on the perfect form to prevent injuries so my advice to you, do it when you're 16. Bro, I really started intensive training when I was 19. So I'm a late starter, but I put, the, put in the work in all the years and Alhamdulillah, just have patience. Would you ever come to America to visit? Inshallah one day, but I'm really scared. They won't let me in <laughs> because of my beard and my look, you know, but one day, Inshallah, for sure, I want to come to, to America, man. Also want to visit New York. Because New York, those guys there, Honey Buffalo King, Rip Wright, uh, That's Good Money, those channels really started me also wanting to start to uh, put some content out, you know. So, inshallah, one day, man. Finally, back home. It's my DH. 
<laughs> when will there be a meeting? I get this question a lot, man. I want to arrange a meeting in the Netherlands, inshallah, very soon. An e Canon community workout. I'm gonna put it on my Instagram story before I, I uh, pick a date. So, inshallah, soon, man. When is your collab with Jahidun? Shout out to the bro Jahidun, man, the Bengali power, man. Uh, inshallah, very soon, I can give you guys a hint. I already booked my ticket to the UK. So, make sure you stay tuned, man. Okay. Can you create a telegram with boys doing calisthenics? It would be nice, no? It's a good idea, man. If you guys really want that, I can start a group, you know, maybe on Discord or Telegram. Let me know, man. Hit me up. So who asks how to balance your being with doing your property? Great question, man. So number one priority is always the being. Without the being, screw the dunya, you know? I always say to people, if you have a job that doesn't let you pray or do something with your religion, search for a job that gives you the opportunity to do your prayers, gives you free when it's eight. Make sure your priority is being first. After that, of course, dunya is nice. You can chill a bit, you know? But being number one, inshallah. Who asks, how can you get wider faster? So I'm gonna give you one advice, please. Don't rush your progress, you know? Take your time, have sober, put in the work, stay consistent. It doesn't have to be faster. If you reach your goal, maybe six years later, you still have reached your goal, you know? Don't aim for, I want to achieve this in two weeks, this, this, that. Because if you won't reach your goal fast, your motivation will go away fast. So stay, Focus, sober, and just go, man. Favorite surah slash verse from the Quran. I need my phone for this one, man. Can I have a phone? One of my favorites, verse of the Quran, is, is the ayat of Surah Yusuf 33. I'm going to put it on screen. Yusuf prayed, My Lord, I would rather be in jail than do what they invite me to. And if you do not turn the cunning away from me, I might you to them and fall into ignorance. It's a strong verse, man. Very strong. Inshallah, subhanAllah. Last question. If you have the opportunity to say one piece of advice for the Ummah, what will it be? What a beautiful question, man. But my advice to the Ummah is stay on the deen, man. Stay. Don't go past the Quran and Sunnah. The Quran and Sunnah is more than enough for us. If you want to learn how to pray, just look at the hadiths. And that's just the text of which the best person ever lived, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said by his own words, you know, so just stay on the Quran and Sunnah, that's my advice, man, and uh, inshallah, we all get guided to Tawheed, and uh, be in general for those, inshallah, but this was the video, thank you guys for sending me the questions, and uh, see you guys, inshallah, on the next one, make sure you also check my first ever videos, a new daily routine soon, inshallah, because you guys smashed that video. And also get this video to 1k likes. And please hit the subscribe button. I want to hit 10k subs, inshallah. And uh, see you guys, inshallah, on the next video. Assalamu alaikum from me and my brother.